believe in pseudology is that the brain is a muscle, that the brain has so much capacity that we might actually have not used before, but if we use all that, we can all be successful in our dental hygiene board examinations. Now, when you read text in your textbook, it's a lot of blah, blah, blah. We think we know the information. When we go to the exam, we forgot. That happens all the time. How can we prevent this? Especially we have 17 chapters in student RDH of notes, just notes, not even question, not even mock exam to do. Even though we've broken down into very small components, we can always find a better way to be more efficient. And when you scroll down in student RDH, this is radiology, you find the topic that you want to study and you're going to keep reading. And at the end, you can select next or you can select I know this when you think you know the information. And there's a lot of great information with keywords. But again, how do you have all this in your brain when you go to the examination? Let me show you how we can be better together. So if you see this piece of information about the X-ray tube, how the electrons move from the cathode to the anode, I mean, this is all very complicated. I think every single dental hygiene student struggles to remember this, even professors to try to explain this. Well, let me make it very easy for you. It takes a bit of effort because we are going to the rule, use the rule of number one, substitution, number two, connect, in order to make the information more memorable. Everything will stick in your brain better. So now if you don't know substitution and connect, please look at the videos that I made before about how to use the brain more and how to remember drug names better. So first of all, let's see, the electrons are gonna travel, are gonna travel from where to where. First of all, this is actually one of gr my great professor told me when I was in school, C minus to the A plus. Cathode to the anode. This makes sense. Everybody wants an A plus. Well, sometimes we got to start with a C. We get this part. Now, the second part is to remember the bit of a detail that there is. In the negative electrode, there's something called the tungsten filament. Now, I'm not going to talk about what it is for, but if you look at this word, filament, can you substitute this word with film? So now, if you are a C minus student, you know there's a lot of work to do. Well, you might getting the C because you're way, watching way too many movies or films. You're not studying enough. So in C, cathode, you have the film, the filament. What else do you have? A cup. The cup is going to direct the electrons to the other side. But you see this beer cup? Well, the C minus student might also be doing a little too much of drinking beer. Does this make sense? Not really, but it, it's gonna help us remember this information. Now the A plus student, if you think about it, is very good. She knows or he knows the target. The target is A plus to be a good student, to ace any exam. The student also have very good focus. The student can block any noise, distraction, Friday night out, no. The person has a single focus and he or she is going after that. What else that happens then? He or she use too much of the brain and there's heat coming out of the brain. Well, I would like to connect this with this piece of copper that is going to be attached to the A node so that heat can escape so that everything does not get overheated. So again, C minus, the C minus students takes a little too much time watching films and movies, drinking beer from the beer cup versus the A plus student has a very good target focus and sometimes the brain gets overheated. Now you understand the components of the cathode and the anode, and you also know that electron moves from C minus to A plus. This was a very, very, very small piece of information you had to know for radiology. 
within the big picture of the dental hygiene board examination. Now, if you are able to read any of your notes in this manner, substitute any word and connect it with something that you already know and is fun, then you are a winner. You are getting into an exam knowing that you are going to pass. This is what happens in our brain. All the piece of information that you read, the blah, blah, blah. Okay, you think you're doing a lot. I think I'm doing a lot. But at the end, you want all that to go into the long-term memory. And by making things a little more fun like this, when you substitute it, make a little storyline, everything goes into the long-term memory much easier. When you go to the exam, you know exactly where to look at in your brain to find this piece of information and then find the correct answer. If you are curious about Student RDH Dental Hygiene Board's review courses, please go to studentrdh.com. You can also subscribe for the free mini reviews for an entire year. And we promise to be the best to keep providing information that's going to save you time, money, and effort and for, to, for you to pass the Dental Hygiene Board examination. Thank you.